In this session, we want to give you a good sense of how Purdue is here to support your student by keeping them safe and healthy. We're going to follow seven students through their busy day to see some of the ways we address these most important needs. Meet Courtney, a sophomore in health and kinesiology. She's up and has biked to the co-rec for her morning workout. Many students bring bikes to campus as a form of transportation. Registration of bikes and laptops are both highly recommended. Take a look. Join us as we learn more about safety in a video featuring Purdue Pete. Today's topic, property security. Dude! My laptop's been stolen. Oh, hi Purdue Pete. It's not shaping up to be a very good day, I'm afraid. Dude! Oh. Fiddlesticks. My bike's been stolen, too. Really? My cell phone is gone? My cell phone is gone. It was just on the table and I just... <sighs> My mother is going to kill me. Purdue Pete springs into action. Securing and registering your personal property is the answer. My briefs are gone, too. Lock your doors, always. And tailgating? Don't even think about it. Secure your bike every time through the wheels and frame. And never leave valuables unattended at the library, coffee shop, or in your car. It's easy to register your laptop and bike online. Find the form at purdue.edu slash police. Purdue Pete says, hammer down on campus crime. Hammer down. Oh, I get it. That's quite humorous. For non-emergencies, call the Purdue Police for assistance at 494-8221. Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Courtney has really enjoyed her needed workout. With the newly remodeled Co-Rec, she and her friends have a terrific variety of activities to keep them fit and healthy. It's important to remember that a healthy student is more engaged and does better in the classroom. Courtney knows that getting exercise is just as important as studying, especially if she wants her studying to be effective. The Co-Rec offers nearly endless opportunities. State-of-the-art fitness equipment with trained staff on hand to help our students learn about how they keep their exercise fun. They can play an intramural sport, participate in group exercise, Try the climbing or bouldering wall. Take a specialty fitness class like yoga. And check out our many free clinics that teach you about different exercises and different fitness equipment. As Courtney is finishing her exercise routine on the treadmill, she runs into David, who has a fairly sore knee and has decided to ice it before heading to push. Courtney is also heading to push, as she has been dealing with some sadness and grief after the death of her grandma. And though exercise has helped, she's still grateful for the opportunity to speak with a counselor at PUSH. Parting ways, Courtney arrives at PUSH and meets up with her counselor from the Counseling and Psychological Services area. CAP staff include both highly trained and licensed therapists and psychiatric providers. Their specialty is college student mental health. Among the comprehensive psychological services offered are individual and group psychotherapy, drug and alcohol assessment and intervention, and testing for ADHD and learning disorders. A student can receive a limited number of visits at CAPS at no charge each semester. As Courtney is leaving, Emily, a junior studying nursing, enters PUSH as she's had a headache and sinus issues for a few days, so she is ready to see a doctor. Appointments to see a provider at PUSH may be made online or by telephone. The medical clinic is open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, and for those who are full-time students, there is no charge to see a doctor when seen for an illness or an injury. When Emily called in, she was able to tell them that she did not have a fever, as she had a thermometer in her first aid kit and was able to check to see if she had a temperature. A simple kit with items such as those listed here is great to have on hand to address simple medical needs. It's 
It's now 10.30 and Emily arrives for her appointment at PUSH. At check-in, she'll be asked each time to present her insurance card if she has any private coverage and will also be asked to sign an encounter form instructing PUSH to bill her insurance or herself for any billable services. Billable services include labs, x-ray, physical therapy, immunizations, allergy shots, medications, preventive care, and special procedures. Since Emily has already turned 18, she is considered an adult under the law and responsible for her own medical decisions. Parents, if you haven't heard of HIPAA by now, you will. PUSH is limited in what information can be shared with parents. Your student can sign a special medical release form if they would like for PUSH to discuss medical details with their parents. One other really important piece of information, PUSH is out of network for all commercial insurances, so please check with your insurance company prior to your student arriving on campus. You will want to know how much coverage you will have for services at PUSH. But remember, an office visit simply to be evaluated by a provider is no charge for full-time students. Before long, Emily is seen by one of our 16 providers on staff, which includes MDs, DOs, and nurse practitioners. She had a feeling it might be sinusitis, and she was right. Prescription in hand, Emily heads to checkout. Payment is not required at the time of service. If there are billable services, they may be billed to insurance or to the student's bursar account. If insurance doesn't make payment, charges are later transferred to the bursar. However, if using an HSA card, a health savings account card, charges have to be paid at PUSH. Contact our business office if you have questions. After Emily confirms that there was no charge for today's service, she heads next door to the Purdue Pharmacy where she'll pick up the prescription as ordered by the provider. It's good to know that the pharmacy accepts many of the insurance plans and also is a convenient place to pick up some over-the-counter medications that might be needed during the academic year. Thankful to be heading off to lunch after a busy morning, Emily is startled to hear the siren go off. What now? Well, our emergency preparedness team explains more about our warning system. Take a listen. Listen and learn about campus safety with Purdue Pete. Today's topic, shelter in place. Whoa, it's gotten really comfy out here. Come on, we need to go. Watch Purdue Pete spring into action as storms approach. I just got a text. It's from the Purdue Police Department. Purdue Pete says never ignore sirens. Hey, I'm jamming here. Or text warnings to seek shelter. Shelter in place immediately if you hear outdoor all hazards emergency warning sirens. Or receive a Purdue emergency text alert. Or are directed by police or fire department personnel. Shelter in place means head for a designated area of safety. For tornado warnings, it's normally a basement away from windows or doors. Facing a wall, kneel and cover your head. For an accidental hazardous materials release warning, shelter in place means stay inside, above ground in a room with the fewest windows or vents. Do not go outside unless instructed to evacuate. Do not use elevators. For an active shooter warning, head for a secure location, preferably a lockable room. For more information, watch the video on the Purdue Police website, Shots Fired on Campus When Lightning Strikes. And stay aware, report suspicious activity. For all event emergencies, do keep your cell phone with you and share text notifications. Why am I in the basement? Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. no emergency today, just an annual test that had been advertised campus-wide. Back in PUSH, David came and has been seen by the sports medicine doctor. He is in need of an x-ray and possibly fitted for a brace. A severely sprained knee is going to need some rehab and David has been recommended to make an appointment for physical therapy. As David is leaving the building, 
he runs into his friend Jason, another engineering student. Jason is really hurting and decided he needed to get seen right away. Extended care is there for just that purpose. Extended care is for immediate care and during those times when the medical clinic and push is closed. It's open until 8 p.m. Monday through Friday and from 10 to 6 on weekends during the regular semester. After a doctor's evaluation, it's decided that a transport to one of the two local hospitals is the best option. Please rest assured that if there is a life-threatening emergency, a parent or guardian will be notified. Also, one other piece of important information. Extended care does have office fees associated with it, so if a student is able to wait until the following morning, it will save money. But we are there if there is an urgent need. The Purdue University Fire Department responds by sending their paramedic unit to transport Jason to the hospital at no cost to the student. Purdue University is the only Big Ten college campus to have their own fire department fully trained in firefighting, hazardous material response, advanced life support calls, airport rescue, fire prevention, and much more. Now for another amazing safety video featuring Purdue Pete. Today's topic, fire alarm evacuation procedures. Look, Purdue Pete. There's a fire in the kitchenette. I wonder what the official Purdue University fire alarm evacuation procedures are. Hmm. Watch as Purdue Pete springs into action, activating the convenient fire alarm pull station. Check. Good job, Pete. Purdue Pete says everyone should immediately evacuate the building. Check. Good job, Pete. Notifying occupants as you go. Never use elevators during a fire alarm evacuation. Help people who might need additional assistance. Check. Good job, Pete. Purdue Pete says once your safety is not in jeopardy, call 911 to report the location of the fire. If you are caught in smoke, drop to your knees and crawl to the nearest exit. Get low and go. Use fabric to cover your nose and mouth to filter the air. If you are unable to evacuate the building, shelter in place. If possible, move to a room with an outside window. Close all doors and windows. Stuff clothing around the door and cracks to block smoke. Call 911. Signal people outside the window by staying visible waving a light-colored item to attract attention. And Purdue Pete says, be patient. Hello? I got me a special hat. For fire emergencies and all other campus emergencies, always call 911. Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. On the topic of safety, know that the Purdue University Police Department is staffed by professionals who perform their duties to handle and investigate all reports of criminal activity in an appropriate and professional manner. Statistically, Purdue really is a safe campus. Back to David. He has arrived at physical therapy at the COREC and has set up appointments for future therapy. But in the meantime, PT suggests that he swim as a low impact exercise to help keep him moving. David decides to check out the pool before leaving for class. Pretty nice. While we're at the Co-Rec, let's meet up with Nathan. Rec Sports is one of the largest student employers at Purdue, and students enjoy the benefits of a paying job as well as getting to work in a fast-paced, dynamic, and fun environment. Lucky for Nathan, he treats himself to a massage in the wellness suite after work. Certified massage therapists provide a great service at an affordable price for students. After his massage, Nathan enjoys the aroma of a cooking demo from the demonstration kitchen. Cooking demos are a great way for students to learn how to cook for themselves. Everything from international menus to cooking on a budget to vegetarian options, they're all on the menu at the demo kitchen. Next, let's introduce you to Beatrice, another sophomore majoring in communications, who's had a busy day already. Taking a quick break, She's daydreaming of her upcoming study abroad trip. After classes, she is off to visit the Allergy and Immunization Clinic in PUSH for travel counseling and the immunizations 
that you will need for her trip. The clinic can also provide algae shots, flu shots, and tuberculosis screening tests that may be needed for employment physicals. Beatrice is involved in club sports and is soon off to volleyball practice at the COREC. Before heading into practice, Beatrice sets up an appointment with the PUSH registered dietitian who could be found in both the COREC and at PUSH. The dietitian is available to any student at no charge to discuss best practices for healthy eating. Since it's a Friday, she decides to stay for one of the monthly Friday night events at the COREC. These events are a great option for students to have a great time and still stay on campus. Free food, games, movies, music are just some of the things you'll find at these events. It's getting late and just to be on the safe side, she makes a call to the Safe Walk team. Enjoy your home at Purdue and play it safe like Purdue Pete. Today's topic, Safe Walk. Hey, Purdue Pete. Boy, am I glad to see you. It was getting dark from my walk back from class. I was getting a little scared. Cool. Lions, tigers. And bears, oh, oh my. my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Lions and Purdue tigers Pete and bears. always springs into action when he spots someone walking alone at night. Always walk on lighted pathways. Walk in pairs or groups. Purdue Pete says use the emergency telephone system located throughout campus. Watch Purdue Pete demonstrate. He looks for a blue light, opens the door, and pushes the button. The Purdue Dispatch Center will answer and send help. Police department. Wherever you roam, use a buddy to get home. Unless you happen to carry a really large hammer. Remember, keep your cell phone handy in case you feel your personal safety is in jeopardy. Always be like Purdue Pete. Practice safety. Stephanie has shown up at the women's clinic with a possible urinary tract infection. Though she wasn't able to get an appointment immediately to see a provider, she was able to make one for later in the day. Did you know that PUSH typically sees approximately 400 students per day? Most students can be seen either same day or within 24 hours. Stephanie is a graduate student who has turned 26 and recently lost her health insurance plan through her parents. She's heard about the student insurance plan available for purchase through Purdue and decides to talk to the insurance representatives located in PUSH. After visiting with them, She's decided to check out the website and the online brochures describing the policy and to first talk with her parents. It's a great plan. It has no deductibles and low co-pays at PUSH. Plus, it's a United Healthcare plan and can be used all over the country since it is a very large network. Stephanie has some time on her hands before her appointment. And what does a typical college student do when sitting around and waiting? Study? Well, maybe, but for sure, checking out their phone. Something you may be interested in is our Purdue Alert System, a really good use of phones and text messaging. Purdue Pete is concerned about your safety. Pay attention to this video. Today's topic, the Emergency Warning Notification System. Can you tell us, how do they intend to notify the student body of impending dangerous situations? Oh, the all-hazard warning sirens. Oh! Purdue Pete, how else can we find out about emergency situations? Oh, Purdue email, or the Purdue notification page on Facebook, or the Purdue home page. Ah. What else, Pete? What if we're in danger? Oh, oh the Purdue text message system. Purdue Pete says other methods include Boiler TV's emergency alert system, local TV stations, local radio, and remember you have to opt in for Facebook and text notifications. Purdue Pete, can the emergency notification system warn us if there's a pop quiz? Purdue Pete says keep your ears open for emergency warning notifications. Remember, always be like Purdue Pete. 
practice safety. Later in the day, Stephanie is seen by a provider and a lab test is ordered. PUSH has an in-house lab where many tests can be performed quickly and accurately. One money-saving tip is to check with your insurance company to see if there is a specific reference lab which can be used, such as MidAmerica Clinical Labs, LabCorp, or Quest. PUSH can collect specimens and send out to a specific lab at the student's request. The student's responsibility is to provide the insurance information to the lab and inform the lab that they want it sent to a specified lab provider. This is important for each and every time they use the lab. Well, it's been a busy day for our students. Courtney, Emily, David, Jason, Nathan, Beatrice, and Stephanie. Thankfully, they are all doing well, safe and healthy, or on their way to good health. Know that we at Purdue are here to support your student and provide an environment in which they can feel safe, have their health needs addressed, and explore fun and varied ways to keep fit and manage the stresses of college life.